Ladies and gentlemen, you know my next guest from the Russell Howard Hour and his Netflix stand-up special, Lubricant. Please welcome Russell Howard. Hello. Hello. Look at this. I love gigging in America. You're so happy. Look at you applauding yourself. We are, we are. I did a show in England recently. I was joking about my lazy eye. And this man stood up in the middle of the room and went, I don't like it. I don't like it when you joke about your eye because I have got a lazy eye. So surely if anyone can, you can look the other way. So you don't mind that. He disagreed, he's very upset. Physically and metaphorically, we couldn't see eye to eye. He didn't like that. <laughs> we have to laugh at ourselves. We have to, particularly if you're British, we're a ludicrous nation. There was a headline in an English newspaper the other day that genuinely said, can hackers secretly control our hot tubs? <laughs> How good is your life if that's a genuine concern? I can't sleep, Roger, it's the jacuzzi. <laughs> We're being hacked. <laughs> it's the Russians, Rog. Like there's some operative in Moscow. Shall we destabilize their economy? <laughs> no. Shall we further invade Ukraine? No. Let's head to Britain. <laughs> Let's make the outside bath less bubbly than they desire. <laughs> And this article went on. Apparently, hackers can control your fridge, your TV, and my favorite, your sex toy. Again, it's unlikely, isn't it? Even if they could, what's the worst that'll happen? <laughs> You'll have a lovely orgasm. At the very least, that is a great excuse. I can't stop it, Brian. It's Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Think it. Think it through. Five times he's had me doing it today. That's the worst that's gonna happen. It's not like there's gonna be remote control sex toys leaping out of cupboards, chasing British men down the street. You're not gonna switch on the BBC News. Five more people were today dildo to death. <laughs> the footage is far too shocking, but we do have their final words. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh hell yeah. And oh yeah. We have to laugh at ourselves. Laughter is the lubricant that makes life livable. And human beings are weird. We blame animals for our creepy behavior. Have you noticed that? You know the phrase catfish? Someone goes online, pretends to be someone else. Catfish don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> They're not in the sea. Show us your d of a dolphin. <laughs> We blame animals all the time. Have you ever seen a wolf whistle? Have you ever seen a badger badger? Have you ever seen an elephant in a room go, I know? <laughs> no, that's us, because we're weird. Particularly online. We behave online in a way we'd never do in real life. Instagram is a great example. You can see a picture of a girl in a bikini. You can like it. Imagine doing that in real life. I like that. That is all right, that is. <laughs> Dave, give me that eggplant. <laughs> I'm gonna wave a vegetable at a girl I don't know. <laughs> we live in baffling times. Look at politics. The left are too left and the right are too right. COVID's not real. We need more guns and the left are just as bad. What are we gonna call female fishermen? <laughs> and <you> <laughs> It is real, vajanglers. <laughs> Can we not discuss something that matters? Look at British politics. It's exhausting. It's proof that the cream can rise to the top, but turds can float there too. <laughs> Our leader is Boris Johnson. Yours is asleep, ours is passed out. <laughs> He's part alpaca, part thesaurus. You never know what is gonna tumble out of his mouth. His brain is like cards against humanity. <laughs> and he's in charge of us. And here's an interesting thing. Did you know that the countries run by women did better in the pandemic than the ones run by men? <laughs> that, was, that was such a great... It's an amazing reaction. The women were all cheering. You feel all the blokes going, well, you know, I was never given the opportunity. 
Ahmed, sure, I can't run a fantasy football team, but I could definitely. <laughs> it makes total sense to me. All the women I know, compassionate, good in a crisis. I was on the tube in London recently, and a lady got stuck in the train door, and her friends rescued her. They were like, oh, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Started stroking her hair. I was scared, girls, I was scared. If that was a man, he'd still be in the door. Just, <laughs> lads, lads, seriously. Say hello to TikTok, mate, you're going viral. <laughs> it makes total sense to me, you know? The female leaders, they looked after the nations like mums. That's what mums do, innit? They protect you. They warn you about things you wouldn't even consider. Remember when you were five, minding your own business? Your mum's just like, don't run with scissors. <laughs> All right. I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> don't put a knife in a plug socket again. <laughs> Not on my to-do list. This was the weirdest, when you were eight. Don't put two pencils up your nose and smash your head on a desk. <laughs> Thank God you're here, mum. We were literally about to play Suicide Walrus. How did you know? Joy, thank you so much for having me. What an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. You can catch Russell on his U.S. leg of his world comedy tour, Respite. Tickets are available at his website. Russell Howard, everybody. Thanks, Russell. That's it for The Late Show. Tune in tomorrow. My guests will be Julia Yaffe and Thomas Lennon. James Corden's next. Good night, y'all.